Welcome back to another Swift tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about container view controllers. A little about what they are, how they work, and of course we're going to be implementing our own little app using container view controllers. So we're going to be building this. This is an app that, as you can see, has this segmented control up here, and we have this red screen, and if we click on this, we get the blue one. Red, blue. Now what's actually going on here is this red view that we're seeing is one view controller. This blue one is a separate view controller. And actually the segmented control and the view controller that both this red and blue view are showing up on is another view controller. And this little demo is implemented using a concept known as container view controllers. With that being said, smash that like button down below and let's get into a little bit of an explanation about how this whole business works before we implement. So first and foremost, what the heck is a container view controller? So as the name implies, there are objects that allow one view controller to contain another view controller. Now, I know it's a little bit of using the actual term to define it, but we're gonna talk about some examples. So the two examples I wanna talk about are navigation controllers and tab bar controllers. So both of these objects kind of just work and most people never take the time to understand how they work. It's kind of like magic. Actually, under the hood, both navigation controllers and tab bar controllers are using container view controllers and that's exactly how Apple has implemented it. So if we move to this slide and take a look at a tab bar controller, essentially we have this controller here, having both of these controllers that are tied to the tabs uh, as child controllers. So they're linked to this controller through container view controllers. Moving on to navigation controller, it's the same deal. So we have the main view controller, which is this bright one in the background. And we basically use a container view controller to show a stack. Now, of course, we don't actually have to do it because Apple has implemented this under the hood, but it's a good way to explain the concept. And more importantly, now we're gonna implement it, so it's a good idea to know what the actual meat of this concept entails. So with that being said, let's jump right into the project and actually implement this. So as always, let's get started by opening up Xcode. Once that fires up, we're going to create a new project and we're going to stick with a single view application. Make sure the language is set to Swift and not Objective-C. Let's give this the name of, let's say, container uh, demo. And let's hit enter, save it wherever you'd like. And let's get rid of this right pane and expand our Xcode window to give ourselves a little more room to work. And let's start building it out. So what we're going to first start by doing is heading to the main storyboard. And in here, what we're going to do is we're going to add a segmented control to the top of this view controller. And the way we're going to actually do that is by clicking on this and embedding it in a navigation controller. So we're going to say editor, embed in, and we're going to come in here and pick navigation controller. That'll give us this, this guy over here which also gives us our navigation bar. Let's come up here to our object library, find a segmented control and drop it in on in here. Now it gives us two controls by default. Let's leave this as first and second actually. It works out nicely in our favor. Now let's head back to our viewcontroller.swift file that Xcode gave us by default. And let's create a function in here. It's going to be an IB action, and if we can spell it correctly, we're going to do did tap segment, and in here we're going to take the parameter of segment, and we're going to go back to our storyboard and connect that function. Basically, now we're going to be able to get uh, that function called whenever the user taps on the segment and we're going to do value changed. And if we just simply build and run our application right now in a simulator, you'll see that we have a white screen with the segment control at the top. 
now comes the part of actually implementing the container view controller. So if we give this a second, we should see our segment like so. And cool, we got our segment and it's working. So let's actually come into the side panel here and add two more view controllers. And we can do that by right clicking and clicking new file. We're gonna select Coco Touch class, make sure the subclass is UI view controller, and let's title this second view controller. And do it one more time. So come up here, right click new file, and let's do third view controller. What we're gonna do now is in the view to load for the second controller, set the view's background color to something bright. We're gonna go with red. In the third view controller that we created, set the background color to something bright as well. We're gonna go with blue. And let's go back to our view controller and start implementing container view controllers. So the way we're gonna do this is in view to load, we're gonna have a function call to set up, and we're gonna create a private function. And what we're gonna do in setup is essentially add those other two view controllers as children of this controller. So let's basically create those controllers. So the second VC is going to be second view controller. And the third VC is going to be third view controller. And we're going to say add child. And we're going to do second VC. We're going to do add child again. We're going to do third VC. Now what we want to do is we want to add the actual view of these two controllers. So we're going to say self.view add sub view and we're going to say second vc dot view let's copy and paste this and do it for the third view controller and something that's really important that you want to do well two things in this case is you want to set the frame of each of these views and you also want to call uh, a function on these view controllers and that function is did move uh, to parent i believe so second vc not touches move, did, did move to parent. Yep, so we're gonna say did move to parent and the parent is self. And we're gonna do the same thing for the third VC. And as mentioned, let's also set the frame for second VC's view as well as third VC. And that's gonna be self.view.bounds. Let's also do this for third VC. And let's set third VC dot view dot is hidden to true. Let's hit command R to build and run and see what we get. We should get our red view like we do. So if you notice this view controller has no color specified in it. This red is actually coming from our second view controller class. So if we go into here, we saw that in view to load we specify the background color to be red. And if we go back to our simulator, we see that it's red. So now when we click on this segment up here, what we wanna do is we wanna show the third view controller and its view, which has a background color of blue. So right now that's not happening because we haven't implemented it. Let's head back to our view controller and implement that. So in here, what we're simply gonna do is we're gonna say if Segment dot selected index, selected segment index is zero, show red VC, else show blue VC. Now something that we have to do now is move both of these properties to the global scope so we can reference them in this function. So let's go and stick those up here. And down here, what we're gonna do every time the segment is clicked, we're going to first hide both of those views. So we're going to say second VC dot view is hidden is true. And we'll do the same thing for the third VC. And now for the first index, in other words, the first 
position in the segment control, which would be this guy right here. We want to show the red view, which is second VC. So is his hidden would be false. And let's do the same thing for the third VC in the else case. Let's come up here and hit command R to build and run again. And we'll see that we are starting off on our red view controller. And if we hit this, we're on our blue view controller. So there you have it. We're using a container view controller to basically show the red and the blue views, which are a part of two different controllers in this screen. And this is essentially how Apple under the hood has implemented UI navigation controller and UI tab bar controller. So what's important to note is we did all of this through code. And for that matter, not a lot of code. You can also do this in the storyboard. And the way you do it in the storyboard is pretty simple as well. You can come up here and click on this and find a container view controller in here, or container view for that matter. And you notice when I dropped it in, it actually also put this over here and it connects this view to this. And we can come up here on this and specify a class. So we can say that this is, if we can select it, we can say this is second view controller. So if we come back to our view controller dot Swift and comment out this setup function and hit command R to run. If I'm not mistaken, we should see our red controller view in that little rectangle that we dragged on in. So both are valid ways to set it up. Oftentimes people prefer code because it gives you more flexibility, but the storyboard is definitely an option as well. So that does it. Thank you so much for watching. That's a basic overview of container view controllers. If you're new, welcome to the channel. We do daily Swift tutorials, iOS, other software engineering videos, so subscribe. If you haven't done so already, make sure you smash that like button. Leave a comment for any questions, concerns, if you want to say hi. We love hearing from you guys, and we'll catch you in the next video.